Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and we are going to play yet another uh, Save My Disaster campaign. Please run. It is uh, still the same uh, campaign. We're looking at um, episode number 9 of the failed Psionic Rush and we're nearing the end of it. Um, this time we're going to go for a sabotage transmitter. Very difficult mission. It's the first very difficult mission that we're going to attempt with uh, the sidetrap high explosive. So there are going to be a lot of explosives in here. And if we're playing our cards right, we do have a lot of lieutenants here. You can see lieutenant, 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 and the sergeant. If we are going to play our cards right, we might be able to get a promotion to captain, which is finally squad size 2 as an upgrade. One of the few things that's missing until um, for, for a final handover of the safe game. Also, um, this here gives us enough supplies. So we can catch up a bit. Uh, the economy of this run here was a bit shattered. So having extra supplies will help us to, um, to make the necessary purchases to upgrade the last weapons. And yeah, then, then basically everything is upgraded. Um, We've been picking up as for proving grounds, once we area. get um, the, the upgrades, I would like to... I would like to get an, um, an upgrade for the med packs as well and we'll research the mutons to get an update there as well. So grenade update that is. This mission here should be interesting because it's a very difficult mission. Which means we're probably fighting against eighteen enemies. Psionic transmitter in this area, tied directly into their primary network. Our intel suggests destroying it while it's still connected will severely damage their linked systems. Plant the explosives before they have a chance to pull the plug. Their patrol is coming. I've located the objective, Commander. Nice. So we need to kill these things. We're having high ground here. That's very, very strong high ground. So we actually only need to focus on killing this pack over here and then continuing. Already there. I'm all over it. Solid copy. Moving in. I think we're going to be fine. Looks like a very easy pack to start with. So I would want to start with Dead Eye. Actually, on the Shield Bearer, because we could almost one shot him. He has no cover. Might as well try it. Let's go, baby. There we go. Got him. We're in their sight. Well, beautiful undead loyalty. Got a zombie right away. <laughs> That's joyful. So, one of the things that you need to know uh, with the Reaper, if you want to play the Reaper right, just make sure that you have your go. shit together, right? Uh, when we're now moving in, the Reaper could actually help us to spot out where the enemies are. So we know that there is a pack of enemies, meaning anything here or here would probably be a bad idea. This here on the other side is going to be 12 damage. It's going to kill him and it's going to kill uh, this um, transmitter which is perfect because the reaper has not only scored a kill the reaper has That's also been just the reduced the time has level. Been temporarily delayed. easy right like i said you gotta have your shit together with the reaper and that will make things incredibly Absolutely. easy We got a hack here. Bypass Always check here. the hacks. 
Use high ground, check the hex, get your shit together with the Reaper. We don't want any reinforcements, so we're not going to take... Supplies is nice, um, and 70% sounds great, but I don't want to deal with another reinforcement, a pack of reinforcements. So checking the guys over here. This here is not going to trigger them. On your order. Killing the Psy zombie. Of course. Moving on target location. So we're going to use our stock here to make sure that the zombie is going to die. What did you expect? And just use the extra actions to make sure that uh, we get more turns, more network turns. Unfortunately, we can't throw the claymore far enough. I would elsewise have pulled them with a claymore pull. I mean, alternatively, let's just pull the specter. There we go. Very nice hit, by the way. Critical. Almost killed it. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, this here, right? Would be easily a kill. Let me think about it. I want to kill both of uh, the mutants first. It's our highest priority. Very nice. So that mutant here is down to seven. That's a forty percent crit chance. see what the shotgun could do. That is a 70% crit chance. Just out of curiosity, similar chances to hit this guy. Come on. There we go. I just wanted to do the higher crit chance. This here would be nice if we can hit him. Very, very good. And this is unfortunately not a secure kill. However, this here is. And I'm willing to sacrifice the Claymore in order to not sacrifice anything else, i.e. a Mimic Beacon. That's how important it is to, to get rid of the mutants. And we had no other turn left over. So making sure that you are not taking damage is actually more important sometimes than dealing damage. So 
So again, you need to have your shit together. He did know that we are here. Hence, he has chosen a spot which is invisible to all of these guys out of range. But him being here means he had no chance uh, to know that we could actually spot him out. As you order, Commander. We need to move the rest of the team. So this here will not reveal us. I have no ammunition. Thanks to Silent Killer. To this corner here, probably going to take a pistol shot in order to kill one of these uh, things. Sure thing. Just buying us time now to get a better positioning. to continue scouting with the reaper and by the way i mean how can you even lose a reaper in most of the missions I am trusting it takes you. a lot of misplay to lose a reaper as the first um, soldier in a mission moving up here i am to obey Okay, so it's quite clear what, what needs to be done, at least for me it is immediately clear. Don't need to ask twice. Moving to high ground. Okay, that can always happen. We got a mimic beacon for these sorts of things, that's why I'm Move in one operative there first. Interesting. Oh, I forgot to equip the Mimic Beacon. That is a rare form of absolute noob noobness. Well, it happens. Doesn't matter, we can move, still do move, that move. and beat it without any beacon. Can we throw it up here? Oh, be beautiful, it works. Give me that second. You can do it, I trust in you. I have faith. Very good, the car is burning. still at 12 hit points. Let me correct that we're looking at 4 hit points. And if we would miss, uh, then we would be looking at 2 hit points. If we hit, he's dead. Anyway, as I was saying, it is pretty clear what we need to do. Need to take the high ground. 
and kill each and every one of these guys. an extra turn I'm reloading I go where you tell me Right. Let's move up. Next turn we're going to take the high ground here and it'll be great. I'm on it. Yeah, so still the same hack. Two, three, four. Five and six. That's going to make for some interesting ambush. Let's start right here, which is twelve damage. Unfortunately, the Viper is barely not in range. So easily set a flame. Well, gotta hate the zombies. This car here is parked perfectly because you can't bypass it. So this here is effectively blocked. The next entrance is up here. Well done. Okay, so let's prioritize the targets, shall we? The Muton should die. Sunlancer can take a shot, but can't rush us. Um, the Purifier is a non-threat. So probably these two here are the main threats it's at the beginning. Arguably also the Shadow. I'll give the also the shit. Bombs away. We're going for the mutant first. Can't see the muton, that's really unfortunate. Moving 
So that's six damage to the Muton. Alternatively, we can finish the Spectre. I think that's a wise choice. And we could continue damaging the Muton. Again, alternatively, we could use the Flashbang. Yeah. Might as well want to damage him. It's only four points of damage. Good. Anyways. Another flashbang. You watching? So they're just double moving, can't throw grenades. Have a huge aim penalty. We should be fine. Suppression? No. No. Well, not with such an aim penalty. Well, I could have guessed the grenade to be honest. So time to kill the mutant. I am at your service. And then next turn we're going to place the C4 with him. In the meantime. I'll need more ammo soon. Very good. So of course that uh, the the whole grenade here wasn't wasn't working as intended. We could explode the car. Probably not because our uh, rock, uh, our grenades are not strong enough. Seventy-five percent isn't bad as a shot. Might as well do that. So reload and let's take the Viper down. Moving over here and hopefully we can kill the Viper. 77% looks good to me, come on. Secure kill. Deflection. Nice, got a hair trigger. That's a kill. Target eliminated. No round. I guess the Sun Lancer still has um, still has a grenade, so that's a bit of an issue. Hmm. 
so moving here therefore would be a bad idea. I mean we could move here and then just throw another flashbang which prevents him from uh, from from using his grenade, right? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. It's just deciding to overwatch. The zombie will not reach us, but will be close enough so we can kill it next turn. What the actual fuck, really? Venice one five, they're about to disconnect the transmitter. This is our last chance. I know, I know. It's always our last chance. A couple of guys have taken damage. Might as well start to counter here slightly. We'll counter his Overwatch. We have a stock in our weapon. So. We even hit it. Which is good. Charges are active, but the aliens are still working to isolate the transmitter. Eliminate any remaining hostiles before they cut it off. Got a solid chance to crit this guy. Without the crit, we wouldn't kill him, though. Before we decide about that, well, let's do a couple of things. Number one. This might sting a little. We're using our actions efficiently. Number two, this Psy Zombie definitely needs to die. Nice. Repeater is good. Moving down here, run and gun, reload, shotgun to the face, apparently triggering yet another zombie, good fucking lord. Four damage and hopefully four damage. There we go. My ammo is gone. Yeah, we got a couple of injuries uh, due to the grenade. That was unfortunate, but the rest of the mission I think was okay. For a very hard mission, it did not feel okay. very hard, the so we had it under control. Attack. That plague our world. And in case you have missed it, uh, you have missed it. There were two additional like stations down there, two additional transmitters. So we would have even had two more rounds. Slight wounds, no promotions. Hello, Commander. What can so I what we can do is we can finally build some items here. Oh shit, we're missing Alois again. How long until the next excavation is done? Okay. Almost done. I wonder if anyone made sure his chip was actually. We're continuing with getting a soldier. Look at that. Oh wow, only supplies. Well, 
Well, I guess time for another power relay. Yeah, I was hoping for some more alien alloys, but we're apparently a bit short on these. This will prove to be an important step forward. Look at that. Advent has legions of these mechanized. Remnant Mark II, we can upgrade it. And we can get Blue Stream can tell, Protocol. They're fully automated and armed to the team. We have an instant mutant autopsy, Central which will give us advanced grenade launcher and um, the plasma grenades. And our shotguns could get an additional upgrade slot, so we are definitely going to do this. Specifically because I've researched everything that I wanted to research for this run. Um, before I needed to hand uh, or before we wanted to hand over so let's choose a couple of projects here in the order of how important they are there are actually a couple of them pretty important um, I would single-handedly say blue screen rounds is like by far is the deploy. most important project we should definitely start working on it right immediately right away okay then secondly after that is done After that the is done, we're building items. Where's the upgrade here? Remnant Mark II. So, advanced grenade launcher. Super good. Could get that. Gosh, so many upgrades. Let's shortly check. I think we have the medicine. Am I blind? Yeah, plasma grenades. Again, require alien alloys. So, battlefield medicine it is then. We'll get started right away, Commander. I'll send word when the project is complete. These two here should be first. And I would definitely go, as soon as we have uh, more alien alloys, I would definitely go for, uh, sp uh, for some plasma grenades. Um, and then whenever possible, we need more trooper corpses, but whenever possible, get the trooper corpses for the exo um, armor, just for more hit points and free explosives. Got a soldier, Grenadier Lieutenant uh, Kennedy, another lieutenant right away. And I mean, look at that, mate. If you can't work with that many lieutenants, it's you have a really, really good uh, force now. Shredder. This time we go suppression. Uh, both is fine. I think we're still going for heavy ordnance. So, nice little new um, grenadier. There's been plenty of gripes about my flying, but I don't see anybody else stepping up other than the autopilot. I would continue building the radio, uh, radio relay. And as for the last mission, I mean, that's how Intel's status. I do have an idea. Maybe we can buy alien alloys for Intel. Yeah, alien alloys here for the Intel. Thank you.
So this solves a couple of things for us. Most noticeably, we can upgrade a couple of weapons. So what are the most important things to take care of? Gosh, there are a couple of them that are important. So melee weapons, not necessarily. I would probably argue that this weapon here is a steel. An easy upgrade. That the Gremlin Mark II is also a very helpful um, upgrade. The Granite Launcher is good, but it's also 175 uh, supplies. So we're instead going to invest the remaining supplies in plasma grenades. 100 supplies. Interesting choice. I'll send word as soon as we're finished, Commander. And I would put plasma grenades even prior to battle medicine. So this year, these three um, are going to be the lifeline of your next upgrades. That's quasi um, the, the, the automatic upgrade. I think what we're going to do is, let's take a look before we go into the last mission. We're going to wait until the covered ops mission is done. And we're actually going to wait one more day after that, which is blue screen rounds time and supply drop. And with the supply drop and blue screen rounds, we're going to invade uh, the, uh, the, the factory over there. Setting course for the Western European Yep, that's the plan. And afterwards, I call this campaign to be unstuck. Chosen are gonna do whatever it takes to get to you, Commander. Even if that means wiping Ooh, out entire That's an interesting proposition. Support. Maybe we're, we're adding one last defense. mission before a hand, because with this I could hand over a safe game to you that uh, offers enough resources. The and then we're African basically sector. done done. So yeah, let's do that. And we're having one last run. Uh I anyways wanted to have squad size upgrade uh, too, so the next mission is going to um, get us the captain promotion um, and then we have squad size upgrade too. Thank you for watching and see you very soon.